Hi, my name's Scott, and I'm about to load some bars. Okay, here's the truck I own. I've come here today to pick up a load of bar. The bar's supposed to be 20 feet long. So I put three boards down. They're about 16 feet all together, which will give me close to two feet on each end of overhang. Exactly what I need. And with the straps, that's what I'm going to use to secure the bar down. Uh, let me give you a rundown of what's going to happen. This guy up here, as you see, he's right pretty close to a ledge. And he's opening up his trailer. Over here is a forklift. What's going to happen is the forklift driver is going to tell him what he's getting. And he should already be set up for it. The forklift is going to go out there into the yard. It's a pretty big yard all kinds of material up there and uh, he's going to bring it to this guy and uh, load it. The dock is going to look like this right here. It's just a flat edge and there's like a little office deal there. Okay, they're gonna let me video. That sound is a truck behind me. Now what he's gonna do is he's gonna set these bundles of the bars on the trailer. And I'm gonna have to take these blocks on the front and back of the load and put in between the rebar. Then I've got a directing. Now I'm gonna put the blocks. That's on the back. Like that. I got to cut some blocks here on the front. I'm going to go back here where I was. Basically, I'm just going to do the same thing. Here's the blocks going up. One there. One here. One block in front. I'm going to walk back here to the back. Set another block in. Everything's locked tight. Okay, I threw one strap 
stuff over and tightened it up because I have to drive over to a staging area to tarp and finish off. Okay, I'm in the staging area now. And it's getting dark, so I've got my flashlight here. Basically, all I'm going to be doing right here is I'm going to be throwing straps over top of the bar all the way down here. And then afterwards, I have to tarp. Okay, I just got all the straps on and tightened, except for this very first one. And there's a reason for that. And I'll get to that after I go to tarp. And that's next. Okay, here's my tarp. I'm up on the deck trailer, and this is what I'm about to uh, cover over. Now you may be wondering, why do I have to tarp a load that's rusty and has been sitting outside? Honestly, I have no idea. Most of the stuff that I pick up is outside and it's rusty. But when these companies make these deals on people like me hauling these loads, they throw tarp in the deal. Now I can see in the winter time because of the snow and ice and all the road debris and everything, but today it was over 100 degrees. So right now it's still pretty warm out. But yet here I am and I'm going to turn. Okay, I got the bungee off. And basically what's going to happen is, since I'm up here holding a flashlight in my phone, videoing, I'm going to roll this with my foot. So this will basically roll out over the whole load. I've got a little bit left, but this is the way we fold it. That's the top layer, and I'll take that top layer and pull it on down. I've got the top covered, but basically what I'm doing here is I don't need a lot of tarp. So if I let the whole entire tarp out, that would drop almost to the ground because it's six foot long on this side. So I'm only untucking what I need to cover that. So I'm just going to be bringing it down to the deck of the trailer. Okay, tarps on, sides are down. Now coming back to why I left these two straps undone. Well, on the top of the pipe, the edges are very, very sharp. So you want to make sure the tarp does not move. Yet, you have to leave some play so nothing is tied up against the bars because it's like a razor. It'll slice right through these tarps like nothing. So this right here will keep the front from moving. This will keep the back from moving. And that's just a little bit of give. So nothing rubs, nothing is tightened. Okay, I've got everything done. So I'm gonna get a little bit close and show you what I've done. Okay, these are bungee cords. They go in these little holes on your tarps. And that's what actually holds the tarps down. Now one important thing that you really want to try to do is when you're preparing a load, no matter what it is, no matter where you're going, if you have to use a tarp, you want to make sure that your load looks good and is functional. If it's not, then this load's going to cost you a lot of money because if it is raining and it's something that is important and is fragile then you'll have to pay an insurance premium on that which is very very high two your tarps will get cut up this one tarp cost me three hundred dollars about three years ago and i got a deal on it then not to mention if you take your time and just make everything look nice, most likely you're not going to get pulled over by the DOT or cops or sheriffs or whoever for an inspection that will cost you 
anywhere from half an hour, hour, hour and a half, maybe longer. Even if you're not doing anything wrong, you're hauling everything legal, everybody gets pulled over for an inspection that drives a commercial truck. Everybody. So, if you're going down the road and everything looks like it's thrown together, if I was a cop, I would pull you over. Just something to think about. Scott, I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe. Starkey family, fixing and rigging up. Thank you.